Um, so the first piece is kind of a pedestal showing, kind of giving a nod to machined aluminum. So the base and the display bag are carved out of a block of aluminum. So come um, in two really solid pieces. It's kind of similar to see how thick that is. And then we use a CNC router to actually go in and carve out um, the laptop itself. Um, we also have diamond cut edges on these, which allow for the really thin bezel, but also um, look really nice and premium. Um, but also, as you plug in your peripherals, scratches your system less um, because of, of that extra finish. Um, and then the kind of really huge change to this product this year is we've removed um, that bottom bezel. It's gone from 19.5 millimeters to 4.6. So wow. it's kind of the final frontier on Infinity Edge. They've been working on this for a really long time. This was always the goal, uh, but we've eliminated that bottom border. So kind of the intent here is to show your the borders actually disappear into the image that you're seeing. Um, it's also a larger screen, so it's a 16-10 aspect ratio, which gives you more you know room to work as far as productivity, so see more content on a website or in a, an Excel spreadsheet, that kind of thing. But it's a 13-4 display because it's 16-10, so it's a larger display than we have today on the XPS 13, and then it's a little bit smaller form factor as well. We've also made the keyboard edge to edge, the touchpad is larger, so all kind of things that the customer interacts with are larger and more prominent. The webcam has gotten smaller too? Yeah, so we introduced the really small webcam, the 2.25 millimeter webcam last year at CES. What's new this year, so we were able to move it to the top bezel because we got really small, but this year we've actually added back the um, IR functionality so you can do Windows on it facial recognition. We also got the fingerprint reader built into the power button. That's new this year, right? Um, we've had it, but the integration into the keyboard is a different layout. We have it on our XPS 13 2 in 1, but the first we're doing it on the XPS 13. And it's slimmer and lighter than it last is, year's? It is about 6% thinner. Um, it's about the same weight, but it's 2% um, smaller as well. So still, kind of, still keeping the carbon fiber yes, so that we have here. So um, these are actual, so this is the glass, and this is the carbon fiber. So these are actually the fibers that are woven together, and they end up looking like this, right? This is a nod to durability, basically. Um, but kind of same properties, different materials, but same properties. They are weaved together in the same way, but they're light, light cooler to the touch, um, and still really strong and durable. So that's on the palm rest. And then this is kind of just an example of attention to detail, right? So the um, XPS logo, which is new, um, it's a little bit thinner than it was before. Um, it's machined into the base of the system, and then the stainless steel uh, letters are actually hand-placed in every unit. So this is an example, kind of a cool video of, of somebody actually placing that in with just the utmost precision. <laughs> So this is arctic white with the woven glass, and then it's a frost exterior, so kind of a matte, matte gray um, exterior. Beautiful, you know, high color gamut display, up to 4K plus resolution, HDR certified. Um, so there's a 4K and 1080p options? Yes, yes. and we say full HD plus and 4K plus because of that extra, those extra pixels um, for the 1610 aspect ratio. 500 nit brightness, so the panels just continue to increase in terms of quality every kind of generation of XPS products. Um, it's based on Intel's Ice Lake 10 nanometer 10th gen processors. Uh, goes up to 32 gig of memory, two terabyte solid state drives. So it's a core. Is there a core i3 or only a core? Uh, the, yeah, core i3, i5, core and i7. i7. Yeah, and then the i7 comes with the Iris Plus graphics um, solution from Intel. So a lot of great power in such a small box. It's just, I think, the perfect uh, laptop. Um, we're targeting probably around 19 hours of battery life. Wow. On a mobile mark, 14 score. Is that on the FHD model? or That's the... on the FHD. Of course. Um, and then we've also updated our packaging. So to be a little bit more premium and just provide the customer a better unboxing experience. So before we had a gift box, but then all of your extras were kind of on the side and wrapped in plastic bags. We've eliminated a lot of that waste. So 
and these are all placed in the box very neatly and your system sits on top so if you think about a customer unboxing their very premium laptop for the first time they've got a really premium experience plus it's more sustainable um, more recyclable than before since we've eliminated some of that waste um, even the shipping box itself we used to have foam uh, inserts mm -hmm. um, which can be recycled but sometimes there's a little bit of like uh, can I do this or can I not now it's all cardboard so you can just toss the the whole box in the recycle bin and, and not have to worry about it.